know what the puzzle is gonna be. Looks like we have some eyes, maybe a spider, a bat. So I always like to start with a corner piece. So let's start with this one. Hmm. Let's go here, maybe here. Hmm. Ooh, right here. Let's try another corner piece. Maybe right here. Does that go? No. Here? No. What about here? Perfect. Do you see another corner piece? Can you point to it? Ooh, here's one and it has a little bat. So it must go right here. And can you point to the last corner piece? You're right, it's right here. That goes right in that corner. Let's try to fill in some more pieces. Where does this piece go? Can you point to where it goes? Does it go here? Maybe here? No. What about here? Nope, you're right. It goes right there. Let's, what about this piece? Where does this piece go? You're right, it goes right here. Ooh, I see a lot of legs. What do you think it is? Ooh, let's put these eyes in. Where do these eyes go? Right here? Oh, it's an edge piece? Okay, it must go right here then. Oh, so it has a lot of big eyes and a lot of legs. What do you think it is? Let's do this last edge piece. When I'm working on a puzzle, I always do the edge pieces first. All right, final guesses on what this is? You're right, it's a spider. He's a cute one too. Ghosts are really easy. You draw a very tall semicircle or an arch, just like this. And then when you get down here, you do a bunch of swiggly lines at different heights. And then you can come and connect it. Some lines will be taller, some lines will be shorter. So it's your bottom of your ghost. And then of course, two eyes. And you can do whatever you want with the faces. You can do any shape. See our other ghost video on different shapes you could do to make different expressions. We'll do a traditional ghost right here. And an oval for his mouth. There you go, that's a ghost. Wow, we did such a great job trick-or-treating. We have so much candy. That scary house is the only one left, but I don't want to go. I heard that monsters live there. Stop! What are you doing? Are you trying to get us gobbled up? Please, please, please don't ring that doorbell. I'll give you all my candy if we go home right now. Uh, I guess I can't stop you. Push the button and say, trick or treat. I'm too scared. You peek inside. Open the door slowly. Eek, monsters. Shout boo to scare them away. Again, louder. That's better. Hmm. Looks like there's a note. Can you cut the string and get it down for me? The note says, clap twice to turn on the lights. Can you clap twice? Good job. Surprise, Larry, we have an extra special treat for you trick-or-treaters. Oh boy, are you ready? One, two, three, push. 
Push the big red button. Happy Halloween! I told you we should trick or treat at this house. This sign in yellow is called an addition sign and that means you add things together so they get bigger. So if we take two ghosts and we add one ghost, that equals, let's count them together, one, two, three. So that means two plus one equals three. So two ghosts plus one ghost equals three ghosts. One, two, three. So we got our addition sign. What is two eyeballs? One, two, plus two more eyeballs. One, two, and one, two equals, this is an equal sign, which is just two lines. What does this equal? Well, let's count them all together and they'll tell us. So we have two eyeballs here, one, two, plus two more eyeballs, one, two. So together, how many eyeballs do we have? One, two, three, four. So two plus two equals four. Four eyeballs, one, two, three, and four. So we have our addition and equal sign. So this time we'll do one candy pumpkin plus three candy pumpkins. So one candy pumpkin here plus three candy pumpkins equals how many candy pumpkins? Can you count them all together? One, two, three, four. So four candy pumpkins. That means one plus three equals four. Good job. Next we're gonna do one, two, three pumpkins plus two pumpkins equals what? What does three plus two equal? Count the pumpkins and I'll tell you the answer. So three plus two, one, two, three, four, five. Three plus two equals five. Good job. Let's first count the puzzle pieces. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine puzzle pieces. Just like that, that's the number nine. Let's try to find a corner piece. Ooh, can you see a piece that has a spider web on it? Can you point to it? Oh, that's right, it's this one. Look at that spider web. I wonder what this is. Do you see another piece with a spider web on? Maybe we can complete this? Does this have a spider web on it? Or this one? That's right, it's this one. Ooh, look at that spider. Let's do a corner piece. Maybe this one. Do you see which piece would go into that corner? Is it this piece? What about that one? Or this one? Point to it. You're right, it is this one. Ooh, there's a win. Let's do another corner piece. Maybe this one with bats on it. Look at those bats. Does it go here? No, it doesn't look like it, it cuts that off. Hmm, where can this piece go? Can you point to where that would go? That's right, that goes right here. Can you point to the last corner puzzle piece? That's right, that's right here. All right, how many puzzle pieces do we have left? One, two, 
three, four. If you said four, you're correct. Where do you think this piece goes? It has an edge. So here, maybe here. No, you're right, it goes right here. All right, we have two wings. What animal has two wings? Let's do this edge piece down here. Oh, perfect, a perfect fit. Oh, look at these eyes. What animal do you think this is? Ooh, it looks like these go right here, which means this piece goes right there. And what is this? That's right, it's a bat, good job. How many Halloween candies are there? That's right, one. One blow pop. This is the number one. All right, how many eyeballs do you see? Can you count the eyeballs? They look just like this. How many of those are there? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, and five. If you said five, you are correct. Five eyeballs. How many trick-or-treaters do you see? This is a trick-or-treater. This is one. That is one. And she is one. How many are there? If you said four, you are correct. One, two, three, and four. Four trick or treaters. This is the number four. How many green ghosts do you see? This is a green ghost. How many of those do you see? One and two. Two green ghosts. And this is the number two. How many pumpkins do you see? This is a pumpkin. How many pumpkins do you see? Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six pumpkins. How many pieces of candy corn do you see? This is a candy corn. How many of these do you see? Can you count them? Count with me, we'll start down here and we'll pick them up as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you see any more? That's right. And nine, nine pieces of candy corn. And this is the number nine. How many of these purple witch's hats do you see? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you see any more? That's right, ten. Ten witches have. And this is the number 10. It has a one and a zero. You put them together, that's 10. How many ghosts are left? And what color are they? That's right, they are white. And there are one, two, three ghosts. This is the number three. And watch this. All the ghosts are gone. How many pumpkin candies are left? 
Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pumpkin candies are left. This is the number eight. You start by drawing two lines, just like this. And they should be pretty skinny, because that's our top and bottom. And then you're gonna do two semicircles like this. And pumpkins are a lot of different shapes, so it's, it's a little wonky, that's okay. And then you're gonna draw a skinny oval like this. And then another oval, but a little wider just like that. And then from there, you can take a green and do the stem, color that in. You can take colored pencils and color in these areas. And then finally, I like to make a jack-o'-lantern. So, you take black, and you make two triangles for the eyes, like that, fill it in. A little triangle for the nose. And finally, the mouth. It's a semicircle with a kind of half a square jutting out. Just like this. And the mouth could be anything. It could be a circle, it could be just a line. Whatever you want. And there you go a jack-o'-lantern. Before we start, do you know what this is? Take a guess now. All right, let's find a corner piece. Hmm, can you point to one of the corner pieces? How many corner pieces do you see? One, two, three, and four. Let's start with this corner piece. Let's try it down here. No, what about here? That doesn't seem to work. There we go, see, it seems like there's a circle or semicircle coming down. Let's find the other edge piece I would go here that also has a semicircle. Is it this one, this one, or that one? You're right, it's this one. Alrighty, hmm, let's finish this off, because it looks like a moon. Can you point to the piece that goes right here? Is it this piece? No. Is it this piece? No. It's an edge piece. That's right, it's this one. Ooh, and it looks like there's another semicircle that's white. Any guesses on what this is so far? All right, let's do some more of the corner pieces down here. Can you point to a corner piece? 
that's right here's one does it go there no what about here there we go and can you point to the last corner piece that's right it's right here all right how many puzzle pieces do we have left that's right four one two three and four let's try to find this piece can you point to what piece that is hmm. is it this one no that doesn't seem to go what about this one no you're right it's this one there we go all right we got a hand let's try to find another one can you point to the piece with the hand Yep, that's right. This piece has a hand. Do you know what this is yet? We only have two puzzle pieces left. Let's finish up the edge. Ooh, it has a ton, whatever it is. All right, last guess, what is this? That's right, it's a ghost. Good job. Little Blue Truck and his good friend Toad are going to a party just down the road. Beep, 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 says Little Blue. It's Halloween. You come too. Who's that in a tutu striking a pose up on the tiniest tips of her toes? Under the mask, who do you see? Quack, says the duck. It's me, it's me. Who's this clown with a big red nose and a cap that jingles wherever he goes? Under the mask, who do you see? Bah, says the sheep. It's me, it's me. Who's this queen with a golden crown and sparkling jewels and a velvet gown? Under the mask, who do you see? Moo, says the cow. It's me, it's me. What scraggly hair? What funny teeth? Who is hiding underneath? Under the mask, who do you see? Oink, says the pig. It's me, it's me. There's a fancy feather on the pirate's hat. Who's dressed up in a hat like that? Under the mask, who do you see? Cluck, says the hen, it's me, it's me. A dragon's head and dragon wings. Who's that wearing these dragon things? Under the mask, who do you see? Nay, says the horse, it's me, it's me. Croak, says Toad, there's just one more. Has anyone seen this ghost before? Off comes the sheet, it's you know who. Little blue truck says beep, beep, boo. So we have our plus and equal sign. So what is one plus one? Do you know it? One plus one. Well, let's use our ghost to find out. One ghost and another ghost. So how many ghosts are there total? Two. Two ghosts. One and two. If you said two, you are correct. Let's try something harder. What is one plus three equals? So one plus three equals what? So we have one candy corn here. And one, two, three here. So how many candy corns total are there? That's right, if you said four, you are correct. 
All right, let's try something else. Let's go two plus three. Do you know what two plus three equals? Let's use eyeballs to figure it out. One, two, one, two, and three. So two, one, two, plus three, one, two, three, equals what? How many eyeballs are there? I'll give you a hint. What is this number? Do you know it? That's right, this is the number five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Let's make a spider. So start with one circle, and then that's gonna overlap slightly this second circle. From there, do a circle right below to make the body. And then we're gonna do a curve line here and connect it with a longer curve line. And then do two triangles for the fangs and two arches again for the mouth. You fill that in. And this is gonna be a happy spider. Even though it has fangs, it's still gonna be cute. And then for the legs, you're gonna, spiders have eight legs. So you're gonna do four legs on each side like that. And then just connect lines. So it's just a bunch of lines, two lines connected just like that. And then of course we have to do the eyeballs and the web. So two black circles like that, and then the web will be hanging from the top. And there you go, that's a spider. What you can also do is create a spider web too on the side. So you're just gonna take your black and make not a straight line, but a line like that on the very side. And then you'll do a bunch of straight lines that all intersect at the same area. So all meet at the same area. Then you do a bunch of slight arches, just like that. And you'll go out from the middle. Just like this. Okay. Spider webs aren't perfect, so that's okay if yours doesn't look perfect. Um, it actually adds to the character of them. So it's okay if yours looks a little weird and nothing is perfect. And there you go, a spider web. Any ideas of what this is based on these puzzle pieces? Take a guess now. We'll start down here. It looks like there's some black. So let's find a corner pieces. Here's a corner piece. Here's one, here's one, and there's one, which has a lot of black. This one? No, that doesn't seem to fit. Oh, but it does fit over here. Hmm. Oh, this one. There we go. Ooh, and then there looks like there's a lot of brown and bats up here. Can you find the corner piece that has brown and bats flying around? Ooh, they both kind of do. Hmm. Let's try this one first. Does it go here? No. So it must go over there. And the last corner piece goes right there. All right, so we have how many pieces left? 
one, two, three, four, and five. So if you said five, you're correct. Ooh, look at these eyes. What kind of animal is this? Let's try to do some more edge pieces. Try this one. Let's go there. No, it looks like there's two pieces jutting out, so it's gotta go here or there. Let's try this one. Oh, perfect, it fits. Which means we need another piece with two pieces jutting out. Like this. See the difference? All right, three pieces left to go. Should we try to find where the eyes go? Do they go here? Do they go here? Or maybe here? That's right, they go right in the middle. All right, yell it out if you know what this is. And then finally, this piece. If you said a cat, you're right. And what color is the cat? That's right, it is a black cat. So you start by drawing a square here and a rectangle right next to it. A triangle, you can do it a little on its side, but make it a pretty tall triangle. A trapezoid. Once again, a tall trapezoid is best. Another rectangle right here, kind of shooting out. Triangle. Another rectangle. A skinny trapezoid. Square. And a triangle. All right, so there's all the, the frame of the house. Now you're gonna add some windows. So really anywhere there's a square, we'll add one right here and you'll add it by doing rectangles or squares. We'll do a nice big long one here. And kind of if they're kind of crooked, it's better because haunted houses aren't very straight. Right there. And then we'll do a big door and another square. You can mark all your windows by X's. So just do that here, here. And now all there's left to do is fill it in. I was like adding a ghost at the very end in the door. Another semicircle. Squiggles. Two circles for eyes and an oval for a mouth. All right, any guesses before we start? Looks like it's orange. There's some, maybe a triangle there. Something that's green. All right, well, let's go. Hmm, so I see some lights up here. Can you point to any pieces that may go there that have lights? This one or that one? Yep, you're right, it's that one. Hmm, let's try to line it up. Is it there? Oh, it is there, perfect. Let's try to find another piece. What about this one? No, this one? That's right. Hmm, where does this go? Here maybe? Oh, it's a corner piece. Ooh, look at those lights. And can you find the last puzzle piece with lights on it? Is it this one? Or this one? You're right, it's that one. Oh God, do you have any guesses on what this is? It looks like there's this green swirly thing. Let's do some more edges or corners. Can you point to an edge piece? Ooh, this one? Hmm, where should this go? Maybe here, no. Over here? Oh, perfect. Let's do a corner piece. Hmm, does it go here? No. Can you point to where this corner piece goes? 
That's right, it goes right down here into this corner. Can you point to the other corner piece? Is this a corner piece or is that a corner piece? You're right, it's this one. This goes way down here in this corner. All right, only three pieces left. One, two, and three. Where's the edge pieces? There's two left. Can you point to them? Yep, this is one of them. Where does this go? Does it go here? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, what about here? All right, any guesses on what this is? Let's do the last edge piece. Ooh, there looks like there's a mouth. And finally, the last piece. It's a pumpkin. If you said pumpkin, you are right. Great big trucks don't trick or treat. They load, they lift, they mix concrete. But they dressed up today for fun, and now a busy day is done. Still spooky things are on their minds, and even trucks get scared sometimes. And on this windy Halloween, things aren't always what they seem. Crane truck wakes up with a scare. Eek! Is that a monster over there? He rolls to take a closer look. He'll catch that monster with his hook. He lifts his boom, and then he sees... Just branches wiggling in the breeze. Something grazes dump truck's bed, then brushes up against his head. What is that flying through the sky? <gasps> Was that a witch that just flew by? Click, headlights on, and look, he's found. Just caution tape blowing around. Bulldozer opens up his eyes. There's something big, it's twice his size. It's a giant, huge, and hairy, looking angry, mean, and scary. He'll shove that giant with his blade. But it's just a pile of dirt he made. Skid Steer hears an eerie sound. She lifts her boom and spins around. Something frightening squeaks and creaks. And then that scary something shrieks. Vroom! Skid Steer does not hesitate. She captures one loose rusty gate. Cement Mixer wakes and starts to stir when something floats by in a blur. He takes a look, then shouts in fear. Wake up, wake up! A ghost is here! Now all the trucks come driving out. What's this ruckus all about? Then someone chuckles gleefully. It's not a ghost, it's only me. Wind blew a tarp into the sky and then it landed on this guy. All the trucks can't wait to share stories of how they got a scare. With laughter, love, and good friends near, they know that there's nothing to fear. The spooky feelings are all gone, but they will leave just one light on. Good night, good night, construction team, and happy, happy Halloween. All right, let's do an edge piece. Ooh, let's try to find the opposite or the piece that connects with that one. So is there a white, it looks like a skull. Which puzzle piece has a big white spot? Is this one? No. What about that one? No. You're right, it's this one. Ooh, we'll line that right up there. Ooh, and it looks like there's a start to a pumpkin right here. Can you point to the puzzle piece with a pumpkin on it? That's right, it's this one. A little skull and a little pumpkin. Ooh, do you know what this is? It looks like a moon. Which piece has a moon on it? Is this one? 
this one or this one have a moon on it? You're right, it's this one, and it's a corner piece. Hmm, so it seems like there's some candy up here. What other pieces have candy on it? And maybe we can finish this top row. Does this piece have candy on it? Oh yeah, a little bit. Let's see where this can go. Here, no. Maybe there? No. Oh, what about right here? Oh, perfect. All right, let's, let's finish these up. Do you see a corner piece with candy on it? Especially bigger candy? Ooh, maybe find a piece that has this green, this dark green and light green. Oh, right here? Good job. And let's finish up this corner piece. Can you spot the last corner piece? Can you point to it? That's right, it's this one. All right, now we just gotta finish these last few pieces. How many pieces are left? If you said three, you're correct. One, two, and three. Ooh, let's finish this candy. Can you point to the piece with all the candy? That's right, it's this one. Where's the last edge piece? Is it here or here? That's right, it's this one. Which means this is the last piece. Ooh, it's a witch's hat that has candy in it and it says trick or treat. 